Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. So this is an energy of a spiritual connection, a spiritual lesson as well with this card. Um, there's someone here who also wants to take a traditional approach to doing something. Um, this person is looking for commitments or loyalty. There is an energy here of someone who is um, wanting to show you that they are committed to you or um, they want to commit to you. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, the Ace of Swords, Air Energy, and the Three of Wands, Fire Energy. So with the Ten of Pentacles, there's again that committed energy. So if someone is seeing you as marriage material, um, they are seeing you as the kind of person they would want to have some sort of stable commitment with, a family, that happily ever after kind of energy with that Ten of Pentacles. And with the Ace of Swords, it's like this person they they've gotten clear about this there's an energy of wanting to um give you that clarity or to express something to you there's a desire for more communication regarding the situation um and with the three of wands you'll be hearing from this person there is an energy of um getting some sort of good news from this person it's like what this person is about to tell you is actually something that um may make you quite happy it's it's considered good news and we are seeing rapid growth and expansion happening here Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, and this is Scorpio energy. So this is an energy of transition and transformation. This person wants to um, take this connection to a higher level of commitment. They want to transform the connection. This person is ready for commitment in some way here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the deck. Um, the five of cups in the reverse, and this is water energy. Five of pentacles in the reverse, earth energy. And the eight of cups in the reverse water energy so this person is definitely not moving on from this connection um this person also wants to be more emotionally expressive they do want to address their feelings with that eight of cups being in the reverse and there is an energy of this could be someone who you had an ending with there could have been some sort of separation or they may have walked away and with the three of wands it's like they're coming back especially because you guys have the eight of cups in the reverse and they're coming back with good news um, with a desire to commit um, with, um, you know, their word, their loyalty. This person is also going to be giving you answers. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, this person could have ghosted you or left you out in the cold in some way. But with it being in the reverse, it's like they're recovering their connection to you. Um, this person has also gotten a handle on something in their own personal life. And this could be regarding their self-esteem, their finances. Um, they've made some sort of positive... Um, they've seen some sort of positive changes in their own life and they are in a better position to offer you commitment. Um, this person is more confident as well. And with the five of cups being in the reverses, again, it's like there's something they're leaving in their past, some sort of negativity um, or a setback that they are leaving in the past and they are ready to um, return to you to repair the connection they share with you. Okay, so I'm going to plot an oracle card for you, Scorpio. Okay, 
So the card says the energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. So this is going to happen quite soon. There's an energy of rapid growth, expansion, you hearing from this person and them ready to invest. It's like this person, they're not just coming back. You know, there's an energy of coming back and being ready for commitment. They're ready to give you their loyalty. They're all in. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says true love. This is the romance of lifetime. So this person sees you as their true love. They see you as someone that they share a connection with. And it's a spiritual connection as well with that Hierophant. And they don't want to lose this love again. This person, there is an energy of wanting to really dedicate and commit to you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Scorpio. So the card says peony prosperity and compassion prosperity depends more on wanting what you have than on having what you want so this person is realizing that um what they've been looking for has been right in front of them the whole time there's an energy of recognizing that you are their true love and they're coming back home there's this energy of coming back to um you know their prosperity their compassion and they want to nurture this connection and achieve that ten of pentacles with you um there's this person is seeing that the grass isn't greener elsewhere they, they this is someone who is valuing you and um really taking not taking you for granted this is someone who is actually recognizing that you are the one you're the true love okay so that's what i'm seeing for you um scorpio i hope you have a really really good day scorpio bye scorpio